change in the world is not easy. People want to be heroes and villains, and they think it's just all play and no work. I came to the town of Everlock to wake the people up. They've been locked in social hypnosis and are living in fear. They're in need of someone to get them in touch with their darkness so they can see the light through the dark and realize there's nothing to be afraid of. Man, what the hell are you doing? What's it like living with clowns? Honestly, not that funny. I constantly clean. It is so annoying. I mean, I love cleaning, don't get me wrong. It gives me great pleasure, but it's just disgusting. Just because we kill our clowns doesn't mean we need to be uncivilized, okay? Before I was a clown, I was a makeup clerk. My designs were amazing. They said that they were too out there. So I murdered them all and enrolled into clown school. <laughs> ah! I like it when I have a big room and I can meditate. Unless the voices get bad. And then I have a special place I go to. And it's the birdcage. I mean, I know I'm the strong one, but I get weak sometimes, and I need a hug sometimes. And I just want to be loved, you know? And my needs need to be heard. Nobody hears me. Everybody wants to be taken care of. But what about Hightower? Hightower has feelings, too. the fun house. I like doing slow deaths. I like doing fast deaths. I like doing medium deaths. I like doing excruciating long deaths. Um, one time I wounded somebody and then I read The Great Gatsby front to back and then I finished it. And honestly, I think for most people, the reading of The Great Gatsby was the worst of it. It's an overrated book. When people get nervous, their blood doesn't flow nearly as well, so I like them to be relaxed. And then when I kill them, the blood comes out rather easily. It hasn't been too fun lately. Um, it turns out that a lot of people don't think dying is fun so then no one kind of comes by lately. Just me kind of by myself. Do you know the old saying is, balloons are always more fun with two? And it's true. These are a couple little things I collected along my my way. I tell you, you stare at this thing too long, all of a sudden, you're going back in time, 
and you might find yourself in a body that you don't expect. This one here, actually, I uh, got it from a young kid who was homeless on the streets, and uh, he said he wanted to be a star. I got this at, believe it or not, I got this at Goodwill. Can I get some coffee in here, guys, man? I need some coffee. I... Thank you, man. Oh. <laughs> Keep this nasty thing away from me. Whoa. Shit, I can't stand puppets. I never wanted to be a puppet. This I use to unlock people from their own chains. Because most of them are lost in a sickness they can't understand. I'm not going to get too intense anymore. I decided to run for mayor. I mean, I felt like it was about time. Everyone thinks that we're a joke, but I'm here to stand up for women, women witches, women demons, witches, witch demons, you know, all of us, because we all have rights, we all have thoughts. Women are really smart. We're not just pretty faces. Vote for Sandra. Yeah, we're witches. Yeah, we do witch things. I can cast spells, so I'm not really interested in, like, passing laws. I mean, of course, we're all sisters. Deborah and, um, Belle, it's been great. You know, we've been making the signs together. They're really supportive. I think it's cute. Honestly, I think it keeps them busy, so that's nice, because they stay out of my space. There's just no one that understands women the way that we understand ourselves. So I thought, why not? Hey, witches! Who's ready to play politics? How nice of you to grace us with your presence. You're welcome. Belle. As long as she has what she wants, Belle's fine. She's our sister, she works with us. We just... She likes attention. She loves attention, and I'm the pretty one, so she doesn't really get attention for that. Is that what she said? <laughs> okay, stop pounding, it makes your face look fat. Oh All right, my where's my sign? I mean, they're hideous, but I still want one. You didn't bring a sign? They're not as concerned with how they look as I am, so, you know, it's a lot of talking that happens. All she cares about is her looks, her face, being youthful, whatever. I'll make my own sign, and I think you guys are gonna like it. Honestly, I'm really getting sick of her shit. I mean, she's really not that bright. Don't you have to be smart to be a politician? I don't know. Are you f kidding me? But you know, if it doesn't work out, there's there's always next year. City council. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh yes, you love the belly scratches. <laughs> I first found Humphreys down the trash, rummaging for body parts. Once I saw him, it was love at first sight. <laughs> He's absolutely the sweetest thing. We like to run around and hang out in the graveyard, and uh, we play fetch. <laughs> He's so funny. He's like, <laughs> we just hang out all the time. He's got a personality, but he's really good. He 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 obeys me. He does whatever I want, and you know, I I love him. He, he's the best dog I could honestly ask for. <laughs> I'm just tearing up just talking about him. It's just terrible. These humans are trying to get them all the time. Kill them, torture them. How could you hurt a face like that? Every day, hundreds of demons are neglected and abandoned. These innocent demonic creatures are desperate for help. But there's hope. You can make a difference. You can help save them. Humans Against Demon Abuse. For just one human soul a day, we can help save hundreds of demonic animals from torture so they can be free to torture others. Make the call. Give up your soul. Save a life. <laughs> I love him. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's my baby. Where is he? I'm not gonna lie. Being a demon is awesome. <laughs> Let's just say that. I mean, how couldn't it be? I don't know if you know this, but I was like really skinny. Um, a pathetic little human. And I mean, that's tough living a life like that. Things have changed. Priorities have changed now that I'm a demon. Since I've made this choice, it was the best choice because I've won, babe. And she, she's the one. 
So, yeah, I mean, this is where I spend most of my time. Um, in this chair, I mean, we process people, and by processing, I mean we tear their heads off and eat them. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm pretty much king of the castle here, you know. Uh, head of the wolf pack, rooster, the hen cage, however you want to call it. But, uh, yeah, no, no one messes with me. I mean, look at my... Oh, uh, uh, hey, babe. What's up? Uh, you know, just, uh, talking to the camera here. Oh, oh, my God. You should, you're probably tired. The chair's too small for me anyways. Um, you know, just doing some work. Uh, she's like the light of my life, or the possession in my demon, or the demon in my possession. I don't really know how to word it. I'm not good with words, as you can tell, but she is. I saw him in a bar, and, uh, he had handcuffs. Those were sexy. She completes me. So how's your, how's your night going? Good. <clears throat> well, uh, you know. Oh, oh you? you're, you're drinking again? I freaking love alcohol. It gets me so juiced up. Veronica's here! Dun, 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 dun. You know, on our way in here, I asked for a bottle. I did, didn't I? I said, where's my bottle of bourbon? Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but, uh... My arm's pretty big, so let's be honest. It isn't the only thing that was mutatedly huge and demonized, if you know what I mean. <laughs> my penis. I gotta be honest with you. I've had it up to here with a strong man. Boy, is he sexy, but... <laughs> Inside, nothing but mush, like... Like baby mush, pee, baby peas in a mush. What? I've never really been that good with people. You know, because you, when you talk to another person, that person will say uh, words to you and you're supposed to say, uh, other words that may be interesting that are also a part of that conversation. And I have a hard time saying words that are interesting to another person in a uh, human interaction. I had a friend who had four grandmas that died. Must have been adopted a lot. I'm fine with blood. Um, feces. I don't particularly like dealing with feces. I mean, I got a dog a while ago. But he ran away. I thought it was just a coincidence, but I got a, another dog. And that dog also ran away. But I have a lot of Smirnoff ice left over from about 15 years ago. I love knives. I have sets upon sets of cutlery. I like to clean them in my spare time because Naturally, we do a lot of killing. I love my knives. They bring great joy to my life. Being a doll's fine, I guess. I don't have any strong feelings one way or another. What do I enjoy? Well, morning hikes, I guess. Reading. Oh, and I've recently gotten into gardening. We have all kinds of dolls, you name it. Baby dolls. Barbie dolls. My favorite doll is the monkey doll, senior frog doll, all kinds. Death comes in many tentacles. Many people find themselves submerged in it before they even know it. You just gotta spin the wheel, kinda like life, and you just see what pops out. Little happy fella, right? I like him. My little buddy. Oh, man. Whew, I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. Go back to sleep. Tomorrow's a new day.
hi, uh, can I get another one? Thank you. And he'll be here really soon. I know, it's getting late. It's a busy guy. I, I like them busy. Thank you. I'll be here. People can be so disappointing. Uh, I just was calling to see, I don't know what happened, maybe, I don't know. Um, I'm having a blast here. Uh, I might have had a little too much drink. Uh-oh. Fun, fun me is out now. Where are you? Okay. I am hot shit. I am, like, sexy, hot, slithering shit. Yeah. Well, uh, always, uh, kind of been in love with the snake woman. I mean, the first time I saw her, the moonlight rippling off her scales, it was intoxicating. Benjamin? Wait, you mean that, like, really tall guy? Yeah, I, I, I know him. Why? I, I, I would love to go on a date with her. I mean, it, it, did she say something? A date? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. It was great. It went really well. I just, I had the best time. He tells really good jokes. <laughs> There's this one. No, 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 you wouldn't get it. It's like an inside thing. I think if I asked her to do it again, she would. I like him. I would definitely see him again. She said she would. Oh, yeah. High five. Snake woman sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Oh, yes. Things around here aren't so bad after all. All right, try it. Well, I feel like, you know, we're missing that us time, you know? Maybe we could go out and rob some graves or something. Um. Just me? Yeah. Me? Like old time's sake? Maybe next time, babe. Things aren't going the greatest with babe. Um, she kind of takes away a little bit of my thunder. And that's hard, man. She demasculates me. I don't like the stick, babe, remember? Thank you. I love her as that pleasant, just lovable, snuggly bear. That's how I knew her, and now she's a demon, and she just wants to kill and ravage and, you know, drink blood and stuff, which I'm totally into. I mean, we've had blood orgies like you wouldn't even believe. Hey, the bourbon's coming soon. I just really need to loosen up, because I'm just feeling so tight, and I don't like to feel tight. You understand? It's good seeing you, babe. Uh, m maybe next week we could talk? Yeah. Isn't she wonderful? God, I love that woman. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so lost in this relationship. I mean, if you could give me some advice, I'd really appreciate that, because I swear to God, she hates me. <laughs> I am strong, man! Uh, hey, babe! You know, when babe's a little busy, I gotta sometimes take care of business. And, uh, it can be... I mean, look at this thing. There's been times where I'd almost rip the damn thing off. Fifteen... 16, one, one trillion, 358 billion, 658 million, 365,358. H through Z were stolen about four years ago. I'm not sure the street value of the World Book Encyclopedia, but that's the only thing they took. So, that's something. And there was pencils in here, too. So the encyclopedias and the pencils they took. Society is a huge carnival today. Most of us are playing parts in that carnival. Many times we didn't get a chance to choose that part. It kind of chose us. 
I believe this documentary needs to be made because people are so buried in misery today and lost in the anxiety of just getting by that we've forgotten what life is really about and how precious life really is. So, Joey did what? Nobody watches these stupid documentaries. Turn that thing off.